Hey guys, it's Trevor Pants here, and I am bringing you some FIFA 13 action. Some FIFA 13 gameplay. And this is really exciting for me because this is something new, this is something that I haven't done before. Uh, so yeah, super excited, so let's get into that. As you can see here, in the tournament tree screen, I am playing the EA Shield. If you don't know what that is, it's a cup competition on FIFA 13's online seasons mode for the bottom two divisions, I believe, divisions 10 and 9. Which I'm obviously here because I'm a noob. And uh, I'm going to be rolling with my boys with Manchester United here, and uh, I'm just going to get the squad in order. Uh, and I, I actually do take quite some time doing this because I do it in a horrible, horrible way that makes a terrible mess of everything. So yeah, that happens. But um, yeah, this is, I think, probably the first real video I'm going to be doing on my Travel Puzz UK channel, so that's exciting. Really exciting. And uh, I've never won one of these cup competitions before online on FIFA, so this is exciting for me uh, to see, you know, basically what can we do in this tournament, are we going to be able to do it, and uh, I hope a few of you will enjoy what we've got, and if you do, don't forget to leave a like or a comment, you know, a subscribe would be lovely, and I'll keep doing more in the future, and we can do some more cool stuff, but immediately, uh, we, we're focused on this EA, EA Shield, this is our primary goal right now, and uh, if you don't know my background with FIFA, I've been telling this game since I was about three. So FIFA 98 on the N64, that was my game, y'all. And uh, and yeah, so but in recent years on the more modern FIFAs, I'm more of a uh, more of a career mode guy, I suppose, more single player FIFA. But here we are, online on the PlayStation Network. So you can, uh, if you want to add me on PSN to play me a game of FIFA, if I'm not doing anything, I will gladly oblige. As you can see my PSN there in the bottom right, trifle hyphen. Pants. Don't like the hyphen. Don't actually spell hyphen in the middle. That would be kind of odd. So that's me finally done with my team. I think it's pretty solid. I think United overall are a pretty solid uh, team in this game. They're not the best for what they should be. I think they're probably better in real life than they are in FIFA. Mainly because there's a lack of pace, I think, in their team. I know we've got like Valencia and Raphael's pretty fast and Nani and Ashley Young, but mainly up front. Van Persie's not particularly fast, though he is a talisman for me. So we're going to go ahead and get into our first game here. And it is against a guy playing as Real Madrid. I believe the guy's name is Azoz999, something like that. We'll see, I'll just see in just a moment. But we're going to kick off and uh, see how we do. And uh, straight away, actually, Evra, who makes some really good overlapping runs. He makes a good one there. We'll find him. And then from a corner, Real Ferdinand. Boy, that was close. We're like 12 minutes into this game and we're pretty close. And yeah, Azos 999. And I managed to intercept this. And Van Persie threw on goal. Can I finish? No, I can't because I'm bad at this game. So that was unfortunate and they're just able to clear it. But as you can see here, we're pretty much in control in these opening 20 minutes. And Van Persie gets another chance that I'm not able to put away. And uh, Carrick's header is blocked and they're able to deal with the danger. But then I get held in the break and uh, Evra gets to made to look like a mugler of a good turn by Di Maria. He's able to really, well, he, he, make, he makes up for it. It's a great challenge there by Evra. So uh, we're trying to press. We're trying to uh, push forward. We're keeping these one-twos going together. Rooney and Valencia linking up there. He's going to go inside to Carrick. And here we realize after Skulls, he could just about shape up for the shot, which he parries. And Robin Van Persie is there. Yes, the man. Robin Van Persie, RVP, more like MVP. Because he, in this tournament, is an absolute beast to me. And he scored. That's the first of many. I'll put it that way. And uh, we nearly got through that. That's a shocking tackle from Van Persie. And I'm glad he just gets set off for that. But I let him get through here. It's a good play by him. And Ronaldo, it's a great ball back to Benzema. But all he could do is tamely head it into the ground. And it's very simple for De Gea. And uh, we do cut out his ball here. And we have got quite a few men up against his defense. So Nani and Rooney are able to link up a bit, and it's a lovely ball from Van Persie to send Nani through on goal. He can't finish. Evra's going to try and drill this back in. Skulls will take it, but then will be tackled, and will be a corner. And now from a completely different corner, we create another chance. Uh, Skulls is going to find Vidic here, who has a shot which is blocked. Valencia, like a champ, wins the header, and Nani unleashes a bit of a beast but straight at the keeper, who makes a good save in credit to him. And uh, it goes away. And that's half time. 1 0 at half time. I think we deserve our lead. Um, twice he's threatened on the break, really. Um, but I think overall we, we've done pretty well. As you can see the stats briefly there. Nine shots of target tiers, one. So maybe I should actually have scored more than the one I've got. But anyway. But just as we were thinking that, at half time, 
We come out in the second half and we mean business. Rooney with the shot and Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes winning that header and scoring the goal. Oh my god, what a legend. And uh, that should really make it comfortable for us now. Because he hasn't been creating too many chances and we don't have to throw everything forward to leave us too open at the back. But, speaking of being silly at the back, I go long with my goalkeeper, which I never do. And this is why. It falls straight for Benzema and he's really unlucky not to be able to do better than that. I think his last touch is too heavy, so he's just stretching for it. He can't quite control it properly. But uh, Nani who some six skulls on the left. I don't know what I'm doing. I just wiggle the stick, me. But it worked. As Skull's able to make a great cross. And what a chance for Van Persie, man. He was... I can't believe that. And speaking of great chances, watch me fail hard at this amazing chance. Yeah. Yeah, I did just do that. And if I wasn't already 2-0 up, I'd have been pretty mad there. So, just checking on the fitness of the players. Skull's got, Skulls, he got that second goal, but uh, Kagawa's going to come on. Bit of fresh legs in the midfield there. And uh, this is just we get straight from his goal, uh, his free kick there, sorry. Uh, and we're able to get this up the pitch pretty fast. And uh, Van Persie, who, he isn't the fastest striker, but I love having him on the pitch because his link-up play is excellent. He can create as many goals as he scores, and that's very similar to Rudy, so they're interchangeable, and it works really well. Uh, Valencia, maybe I should have pulled that one back then. I did decide to go my own. Uh, they managed to get a chance here out of, out of nothing, but we do close it down, and then... All of a sudden on the break, he slides in and Van Persie with that lovely little one-two there. Uh, I think that's with Rooney, uh, maybe. And then Van Persie through a goal, can never score. I can never score these through on goal situations. But he does go for the throw in. And uh, more substitutions coming up, so... Um, gonna switch Van Persie and Rooney, put Van Persie into that number 10 role, the centre forward. Which he does really well, I should add, so they're basically interchangeable. Uh, Hernandez, a bit of more pace up front. I'm hoping uh, Van Persie can put some lovely little flicks on and send him clear. Because he's really good at doing that. He's, the way he can play those through balls to, to his main striker, excellent. Really good. So you can just see the substitutions. Got Giggsy coming on as well. But what a ball he just played from Cristiano Ronaldo. And uh, Ozil pulls it back and Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, he just can't get it under his control. And as if I straight in the midriff of David De Gea. But um, 80 minutes gone. The game is pretty much won. And uh, Real Albiol should get the ball, and he doesn't. He just stops. I feel for him. I can't even put that away, but Kagawa is going to tap in the rebound. And, uh, yeah, that's a painful one for him because his defender, I believe it's Real Albiol, he should have got the ball. He just stopped running and uh, gifted me the goal, really. And that makes it 3-0 in the 82nd minute. And just like I to say, it's goal kick. Boom. Uh, there was no pause, so I assume this is a legitimate connection problem, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I don't know if to blame EA or if it's that guy's ISP, but whatever. Uh, we'll take the wins when we can get them because uh, he played well. The scoreline might have flattered me a bit. Who knows? When you look at these highlights, it doesn't always tell you the full story. But the important thing here, dear viewers, is we are in to the quarterfinals. We've got for our first task, I think we played well. More importantly than the result was how well we played. So there it is, into the quarterfinals. That was an excellent game, and I'll see you guys in the next video.